everyone welcome back to my channel so I decided to do a get ready with me using my ipsy bag from January so it starts from skincare all the way to contour and highlight and this was the completed look for it in this bag you get five different items so I received a cleanser an exfoliating mask a brow gel a contour palette and an eyeliner from Clate Siat. So, if you want to see how I achieve this look, and if you want to stay and watch me, y'all should come on and chill out. First off, I'm going to wash my face with Real Chemistry's Foaming Cleanser. After washing off that cleanser, I'm going to use Perlis's Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask and Exfoliant. It is a gently resurfaces, detoxes, brightens, tightens, smooths 10 minute facial. After applying this all over my face, I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes and just watch a little bit of TV while I let the mask do its work. Once the time is up and that mask is dried, I'm just going to wash off my face and then continue on with my makeup routine. So starting with my brows first, I'm just going to use Benefit's Brow Primer and just lay down those brows a little bit. And then using my first beauty product from the Ipsy bag is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Stay Put Brow Gel in the color Licorice. Now this product comes with its own brush and I use it for a little while and I love the pigment on it but after a while you can clearly see that I'm getting a bit fed up with the brush, it's just not very stable. So I quickly switch that out from my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brush and you can see I am a happy camper after that. To lay those brows down I'm going to use my Chella brow gel and this is from a previous Ipsy bag that I got. To clean up those brows I'm just going to use a little bit of ColourPop's concealer and just line those brows up with a little concealer brush and be on my way. I didn't receive a foundation in my Ipsy bag, so I'm going to use my Huda Beauty foundation in the color Chocolate Mousse. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face with a beauty blender and just blend it out. Next, I'm going to conceal using that ColourPop concealer in the color Tan 50. And I'm just going to put that over my forehead, my chin, under my eyes, my nose, and the corner of my lips. To set that concealer, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm just going to quickly wipe off all of that powder using a fluffy brush. Using another product from my Ipsy bag, I'm going to take the City Color Contour Palette and use the contour shade to carve out my cheeks, my chin, my temples of my forehead, and my nose. Using the bronzer shade of that contour palette, I'm just going to warm up my face and take another brush and just go along my cheeks, my chin, my forehead, and my nose again. And using that same bronzer color, I'm just going to put that in the crease of my eyes. Using a previous Ipsy product, I'm going to take the Hikari Eye Pigment and put that on my eyelids. And take another Hikari Eye Pigment in the color Latte and put this on the outer corner of my eyes. Going back to that contour palette, I'm going to take the highlight color and put that in the inner corner of my eyes. And I'm going to take that highlight color again and put that on my brow bone. Using that same highlight color, I'm going to apply it on my nose and the cupid's bow of my lips. And jumping around again, I'm going to take another Hikari product, and this is their bronzer blush duo. And just use the blush part and apply this on my cheeks. Using the last Ipsy product in my January bag, I'm going to use Siet London's Fierce Flicks Eyeliner. And I'm just going to give myself a wing. Jumping back into that contour palette, I'm going to take the bronzer color and apply that to my lower lash line. I'm going to apply some black eyeliner to my waterline. And I'm going to use some pure mascara and fan out my eyelashes. And I'm just going to keep it a really simple look for this video. Finishing up that look with the highlight from the contour palette. And you can see it's a really shimmery silver highlight. 
As you can see, my Clinique lipstick has been through a lot. But I'm gonna first go in with some Night Moth MAC lip liner and then top it off with this Clinique cream lipstick in the color Avant Garde Pop. I'm just going to clean up my lips a little bit with concealer and voila. Hi everyone, so this is the completed look. So I was able to do so much with the five products that I got from my Ipsy bags. It started all the way from, you know, skincare, so the cleanser and then the exfoliating mask and then I was able to do my eyebrows and I really do like the um, Bella Pierre brow gel. I think that the pigment is really good and it gives you, it's really good payoff. But I do not like the applicator. I had, as you can see, I had to switch my brush for the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that I have. Um, but it is still pretty good. And I just cleaned it up with a little bit of concealer. So I went over it with my Chella Eyebrow Defining Gel, which was in a previous Ipsy bag of mine. And then I was able to contour my face and even use a little bit of that contour to um, bronze out my eyes to smoke them out a little bit. I added a little bit of the highlighter and you know it works out it's kind of a bright like a whitish highlighter and y'all know I don't really gravitate towards those but for the sake of the video and keeping in with the Ipsy products I just decided to use it and call it a day I went back in with my Hikari um, cream pigment um, which was in a previous Gipsy bag I think it was from like last year um, I can't even remember but I used two of the cream products and I even used some of the blush um, which I know if y'all have been following, you will see that this blush was used in my very first YouTube video. So it's still going strong and I still love it. But all the stuff that comes in this little bag, pretty good for this face. So I'm not mad at it. So thank you all for watching and thank you all for subscribing to my channel if you already have. And if you haven't, once again, I'm going to say what you doing. Just subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Come on, y'all, just hit that button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let me uh, know if you like this look in the comments. Let me know if you're an Ipsy subscriber as well. I'm also thinking of giving BoxyCharm a try because I just think that their products that I've seen from the bags are really cool as well. My kitten palette was from a BoxyCharm box, I think. So just let me know. I will see you all next week, and thank you all for watching.